The Oregon Ducks are heading to the Sweet 16 for just the fourth time in school history and the first time since 2013. And they'll be facing the Duke Blue Devils when they get there. Here to break this one down is Bleacher Report college basketball analyst Jason King. Jason, what's the storyline going into this game? Well, I think for Oregon, it's all about proving uh, that they deserve that number one seed that, that so many people, you know, didn't really think they earned. And I love the, the balance of this Oregon team. I mean, you've got a little bit of everything, uh, you know, with that roster. Uh, you know, you got Tyler Dorsey, the, the standout freshman that keyed that comeback win against St. Joseph. Chris Boucher, one of the nation's top shot blockers, and a couple really good slashers, and Elgin Hayes and and Dylan Brooks. So uh, again, a, a big time year for Oregon, one of its best, uh, you know, in school history. And with Duke, I mean, anytime you're talking about the Blue Devils, no matter where they're seated, they're, they're going to have that aura about them, that mystique, you know, being coached by one of the top coaches in the country and, and Mike Krzyzewski. And, and uh, you know, with that tradition, there's going to be a lot of eyes on this one. Now, when you've got these two teams on the floor at the same time, is there a player you're keying in on or somebody that you're watching in this one? You know, I know I talked about Oregon's depth. What I really like is, is superstars, you know, at this time of year. And uh, I think every, I think the teams that, that go the farthest kind of have a guy, you know, someone that can take over. And I think Duke has two of them uh, with Grayson Allen and, and Brandon Ingram. You know, Ingram's probably going to be one of the top two picks in this summer's NBA draft. He's only a freshman. And, and Grayson Allen is, a, a you know, a future NBA player as well. And has been, I think, their best all-around players here in the year. They're, they're guys that can take games over and make really tough plays down the stretch. And anytime you've got a big time talent like that, your team's going to have a chance, even if some of your other guys are struggling a little bit. All right, Jason, I got to get your pick. Who is heading to the Elite Eight out of this matchup? I'm going to call the mild upset and say that Duke uh, beats number one seed Oregon. You know, I haven't been too impressed with Oregon so far. That might not be fair to them because, you know, they haven't had a chance to show a lot. I mean, they, they you know, they, they waxed a, uh, a Holy Cross team that entered the tournament with a losing record. Didn't look all that crisp against St. Joe's, but I guess that's fine. I, I still think Duke having played in the ACC, which I think is the toughest conference uh, in college basketball, I think their schedule really uh, prepared them, uh, you know, especially compared to Oregon, who, who played in a league that we're seeing might not, be, might not have been very good.